What's up, Taurus? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your last half of March 2022. I mean, 2023. <laughs> last half of March 2023. Tarot update. So, let's see what's coming in for you guys, Taurus. What's coming in for the sign of Taurus for the last half of March? Mm. Okay. Taurus, I see y'all digging y'all way out of some type of karmic trench, okay? So, a cycle is finally coming to a close. Maybe you are in the last little phases and stages of this karmic cycle. But you should be noticing some type of improvement by the end of March when it comes down to the things that you are able to yield in life, okay? So, there is a situation where you could have been less focused on your spiritual world and more focused on... Um, you know, just worldly things, okay? Career fields, children, love, you know what I'm saying? Having fun, just living a worldly life, which is nothing wrong with that. We human beings, you know, our desires are going to be worldly things. But I feel like now, because of some karmic lessons that you are now starting to wrap up, you're deciding to like put your focus or recenter your focus on your spiritual world. You are deciding that you want to heal certain things and just get more in tune with yourself at this time, okay? Some of you guys may be, like, anointed with mediumship. It's like you may be able to connect to the other side. So, that includes your own ancestors as well. And so, you may be receiving signs from the universe that it's time for you to step into, like, a level of mediumship, like to start to practice and trust and strengthen your mediumship abilities, okay? Um, I'm also getting that, you know, you come from a long lineage of oracles and sages and just wise individuals that attain and have hidden knowledge within. And that's whether they practiced or not. Because for some of you, you may be the first and, you know, you may be the newest in your new generation for a long time. Like, maybe this is something that people just kind of had underneath the radar. But it's like you want to live out loud in your mediumship abilities. Or that's something that you're stepping into coming into these last two weeks of uh, March. Okay? So, yeah, it's like basically y'all, like, I'm about to stop ignoring all of the signs that I'm getting from the spiritual world, the spiritual realm, that it's time for me to be initiated into my mediumship. You know, you've been getting some type of signs. Maybe you've even been getting communication from the other side that you've been kind of trying to ignore or, you know, you've been just thinking that things are a coincidence or that wasn't what that was, but it was. And it is, okay? And this is something that you guys are coming to some type of realization about like okay i'm special you know i see the unseen i hear the unheard i know the unknown so again it's like you may have known that your grandmother was gifted but she may have only used her gifts with the family like she may have given you advice or something like that from her spiritual gifts but this is not something that was talked about with your mother grandmother father grandfather your, your foremothers and your forefathers okay Y'all, justice is in reverse, y'all. So, y'all definitely was going through. Y'all could be still going through some type of karmic cycle. But, again, I feel like you're starting to feel a sense of alleviation or either a level of acceptance where it's kind of like, okay, this is a part of life. This has to be done. I have to pay off this karmic debt. And I'm about to start preparing for the next cycle. I want to be more in tune spiritually. I want to be more tapped into my spiritual gifts. I want to learn what it is that I can do to combat energy like this or to transmute energy like this rather than making decisions that may keep me stuck in cycles for long periods of time where I'm digging myself out of a trench, okay? So y'all could have been feeling like in the cycles before this or in the cycle that you're currently in that's wrapping up, Taurus, that when it rains, it pours. When it ain't one thing, it's another. You know, y'all could have just been feeling that type of vibe. 
Like, no matter what it is that y'all was trying to do to kind of get ahead or to attain some type of achievement, that it just kept continuing to seem like it was at arm's length. It's like once you move up that arm's length, it's another arm's length away. Okay, so yeah, now it's like I feel like you guys are analyzing and making the decisions necessary to kind of change the outcome of what things are currently in your life, okay? But once again, the things that were more most important to you, those things are becoming, you know, a second priority in your life. So once again, if it's like success, 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 money, 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 riches, riches, riches. Like if that was like your number one focus towards, it's like now, it's like going within, tapping into your higher self and seeing how you can attain higher levels of and longevity in your wealth rather than just like, okay, you know, I want this good job. It's like, I want to expand my mind and see how it is that I can become my own boss, you know, how it is that I can incorporate my gifts, my skills, natural born talents of mine into something that can yield lucracy in my world. So it's like, instead of just chasing it, it's like you, you want to become the one that can attract it. The one that can attract the, the flow of abundance to you. Okay. Y'all don't want to depend on somebody else seeing y'all worth as a means of how wealthy you're going to be. It's like you're going to let your wealth shine and be known. And like, okay, I'm creating wealth for myself because for you, you're starting to recognize that no matter where you go, you may start off satisfied with the pay or whatever the case is. And this don't just have to be about money. This could be about relationships as well. If you were focused on entering into relationships only because they look good on paper or only because that person had a certain level of wealth and status, that's starting to change for you as well. You starting to look for connections on a deeper level, okay, to what it is that you do for work as well as what it is that you entertain and who it is that you entertain in love, okay? So yeah, that's the vibe that is given here. It's like, I'm not thinking from a, like a materialistic headspace anymore and that's something big for Taurus to overcome because you guys like the finer things in life so for you guys to make this transformation but again some type of karma was reached here in order for you to reach this epiphany okay so if things were taken away from you you started to realize that blessings can come and go and that you have to start to find a silver lining in life outside of just what you can tangibly hold in your hand Okay, or what makes you look good or whatever the case is. It's like, okay, you thinking on a deep, deeper level and you're valuing deeper things now, okay? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups to the Two of Cups in reverse. So that could even be the thing here. It's like you could be going to go make some romantic gesture with someone that you feel a deeper connection to and leaving behind a connection where the emotions weren't there, but the finances were, okay? You looking for something deeper now. And you guys may already have your eye on someone. Y'all might already have some type of romantic, you know, uh, I don't want to say fantasies, but y'all might already have like in mind who it is that y'all want to pursue romantically now that you are walking away from a connection that you chose in the past because it looked good. Y'all look good together. Y'all money look good. Y'all felt like y'all was both go-getters. And it's nothing wrong with wanting a power couple dynamic, but maybe the, the focus was so much on material gain and a certain connection that you were in, Taurus, that it was stagnating it. It's like your focus is too much on money and there ain't even no love here. So it's like spirit started to open up your eyes when it came down to certain things. Like money is your motivation. Wealth is your motivation to everything. You got to have more pure intentions if you want to continue to get blessings that are pure. You get what I'm saying? So it's like y'all shifting y'all mindset. So y'all might still want abundance, but it's like you want to obtain it in the right way. You're not seeking that in everything that you look for. It's like, okay, I want wealth, but I want to attain wealth by being the happiest I ever been by being grateful for the things that I have by truly loving and allowing myself to love and not just focusing on connections because they bring money because now you see that that's only going to yield failure 
failed connections because you and this person have nothing in common besides y'all love for money. You get what I'm saying? That's not going to sustain anything. Emperor. Okay. So some of you guys, I'm talking to men. Okay. For the, the feminine energy. Again, I could be talking about the man in your life. All right. Your divine masculine, your future husband, the father of your child. Okay. Or this could even be somebody that's newly approaching you in life and what they're going through. They could be exiting out of a karmic cycle and it became karmic because it was built on false pretenses. We're going to make this you know, holy union and really it's a it's more of a business partnership. You get what I'm saying? So Taurus, it's like you just making different moves, different decisions. Even if you have feminine energy, it's like, you know, you balancing out the masculine energy within you, learning how to get things the right way. Instead of competing, just dirty, you know, it's a difference between healthy competition and it's like you know how how politics get dirty. It's like exposing each other, telling you what's wrong with this person, why you should choose my business, my company, why you should choose me to be the next CEO of this company. You know, it's just y'all getting out of that energy now. It's like I want to attract what's rightfully mine so it can stay, okay? Okay, so let's see what else is coming in for y'all. So y'all are leaving behind a karmic cycle in a relationship for sure, for sure. King of Swords, some of you guys may be getting a divorce. All right. It could be a divorce happening here. And this could be something that you deciding to do in the month of uh, April or the last two weeks of March. But it, either way, that's still Aries season. It's raining outside. Damn. But y'all, it's like you being more methodical. It's like you really are looking at things differently now. Okay? It's like the decisions I made, it led to this. Now it's time for me to make decisions from a different headspace. Y'all, Ten of Cups in reverse. So it's like y'all already got a new offer on y'all mind, okay? And if y'all the Taurus Feminine, somebody already got bringing you an offer on their mind before a, a ending is even completely done. But it is the breakdown of a family dynamic that's here. And somebody wanting, longing, and wanting to pursue for somebody, wanting to pursue a situation where they know they got a deeper level of love or romance for someone else, okay? And this is a very young energy. Could be an Aquarius that's in your energy right now. This could be somebody's life who you was in and out, you know. But regardless of what, even if they aren't an Aquarius, there is a energy of this person. Like, y'all being in and out of the life of y'all true wish fulfillment. In the meantime, pursuing something that doesn't really fulfill you emotionally because it yields you financial success and now there's been a breakdown in that dynamic and you are already thinking about what it is that you're gonna say to the person that you want to go towards towards okay judgment y'all reconciliation damn so what's so crazy is that you may see something from the past you may see something from the past or whatever the case is, and it don't have to be like you've been with this person before, Taurus. This could be somebody that you met while you was in a relationship or that you've been doing since before you was in a relationship and um, or marriage. And it's like you thinking back to that person and you, you remember what true connectivity is. It's like, damn, I used to feel so connected to this person and now I see what true connection is because... Here I am thinking that some such and such is meant to be my husband or wife because together we look amazing. Our credit scores match. You know, we both keep such and such amount in the bank. You know, we both drive this, we drive his or hers, his and hers. Like this is really like damn. This is like having everything that you need financially in a connection or at a job, workplace that you at, but not feeling emotionally connected to it. So that's what I mean. You exploring uh, the other side of the game. You get what I'm saying? You exploring the actual deep spiritual soulful aspects of certain things. 
when it comes down to how you obtain your wealth and how you choose your relationships. And yes, this is somebody you haven't talked to in a while, but you see them as your earth angel. You may have felt like in the past it was a, a lack of balance and now maybe you feel like whatever it is that y'all both learned in y'all time apart is creating more balance. Like maybe you see this person as more patient, more harmonious, you know, but at the same time, it's like you notice in their angelic energy. And sometimes you have to see something from the outside looking in in order to see its value, you know, because if this thing was too close to you, you might not have seen like, damn, you really are pure with your intentions because that's kind of what I'm getting like you notice that somebody that you kind of overlooked before is so pure with their intentions when everybody else is just about greed okay and I'm not saying everybody in the world but I feel like spirit is purposely placing a lot of greedy people a lot of people that's just savage and really don't care about the morals of a situation as long as they get what they need and you're encountering energies like this and you looking back at your past and you remember a sense of innocence you remember somebody that held pure intentions and it's been a long time since you've been around somebody whose intentions were so pure so now you looking at this somebody like you need to get them an apology or like you need to like you want to propose to them for some of you it's as deep as that it's like i'm exiting this connection knowing that i want to be married to somebody else and for those of you where you're not sure if the other person is on the same page with you, I feel like it's going to be a very much heartfelt apology, you know, and, and you guys politicking and maybe having some type of heart to heart. OK. Yeah, six of cups, a part of your past, and this could be a childhood friend or just somebody that you knew in your past. This may be even a child's parent of yours. And it's like, damn, you seeing now, like, damn, nobody take care of my emotional needs like this person. Yeah, like, I got everything I want financially, but my heart is longing for a sense of love, for somebody to express a love language towards me outside of just gifts. Y'all might be thinking of the deeper things like, you know, uh, physical touch and quality time and things that y'all really need to feed y'all soul. It's like, okay, my pockets is, is fed and fat like Buddha, but my heart feel a little skinny here. Like my heart need a little food. You know, I need a little soul food in my bay. Bay back there know how to cook some soul food up, okay? So let's see. And just keep in mind, like, pretty much, like, again, if you the Taurus woman, this can definitely be a situation where if you went through a divorce or a breakup with somebody you have children with, or you just had, like, some type of long-standing future, this person had to experience other women and how savage they can be in order to see that, you know, they wife, they ex-girlfriend, the, the mother of their children was the one that loved, cared for, and nurtured th them the most. They haven't heard, uh, how was your dad work? or when the last time you ate in so long because whoever they went it's like huh what you hungry okay me too make sure you bring me a plate when you get done you know what i'm saying like that's what they dealing with on the other side of the game it's like well damn you know my wife looking sexy over there counting them bands but i need them hands for something else a back massage like a stirring of a pot like and i know that's kind of sounded sexist y'all but as women, we expect certain things for men as well. Like, I expect you to pr protect, you know what I'm saying? And do some level of providing, even though I know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt, I can provide for myself. But that's the point. If I could do it myself, then what you here for? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, pretty much that's just what it is. It's like you you want somebody that's a little bit more in a feminine energy if you the masculine Taurus. And if you are the feminine Taurus, then I feel like somebody misses your feminine energy. They miss the things that you used to do, the expressions of nurture that you extended to them that they don't get nowhere else. And they probably thought that shit came a dime a dozen. They probably thought many women or men was going to be as catering and nurturing as you. And they seeing that that's not true. You know what I'm saying? That people like, okay, you got a DoorDash app. Okay, order, get a maid. We got money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
it's just it's not the same it's not the same vibes why is the justice in reverse here so yeah somebody feel like they put themselves in a karmic cycle by thinking about you know things that's not as important to them anymore okay yeah it's like somebody don't give a fuck about gifts no more. Didn't I say, yeah, it's all good. And, you know, somebody is recognizing that maybe they love language or something else. And in the past, gifts could have been a love language. Now they done got every gift in the book that they can get and their heart don't feel like nothing. Their heart don't feel the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody is recognizing that you loyal, like your loyalty is sexy to them. Okay. And that could be another thing. It's like these two people getting money, you know, and I hate to say it, but some a lot of times when, like, and most of the time it be the men, but I mean, I can imagine that it may be a woman here in this situation that feel the same way. Like this could even be an open relationship. And it's like, we get money, so I don't really care what my partner do. And that could have been how they started off thinking like, you know, I don't care if they mess with that person, this person or that person, cause I can do the same thing. And we get money together. That's all that matters, you know? And now it's kind of like, I miss that sense of loyalty that I had. Somebody that only had eyes for me. Something that I didn't even have to accept because for them, it was so easy for them to be faithful to me and only into me. Like somebody is missing that, okay? And that could be you, Taurus, or that could be somebody that's coming towards you, Taurus. Two of Cups in reverse. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse here? Yeah, because somebody partner sneak. I feel like they both creep on each other. They both creep on each other. Both of them sneaky. One more on the Two of Cups in reverse. It's like they got to deal with that. That's what they have to deal with. They didn't have to deal with that with you. It's like they, they can count on. They knew where you were going to be at. Okay? It's like with this, it's like they may come home to an empty house. You know, what you doing, like, hitting their partner up, FaceTiming them when they get off thinking that I'm going to spend some time, I'm going to get a hot meal, we going to curl up on the couch a little while, we going to, you know, take a hot bath or a hot shower, and we going to get up in the bed together for the night, and they come home and they partner gone out in the streets partying like we making too much money i ain't got time to sit home baby like and i'm not saying it's anything wrong with making making money but this is the difference somebody is saying that it's the difference between you know this fast life or whatever it is that they doing with someone else where it's like no rules no boundaries no structure it's just money you know what i'm saying and so it's kind of like you kind of got to be specific with your manifestations this is what this is meaning for me because somebody here wanted more than just the riches. But since that's what their mind was so focused on, spirit put that shit on big blast. Like, here you go. Here go all the money you want, all the gifts you want. But just know that this person going to be emotionally unavailable to you. And it could have been because Taurus, at some point, you chose money over love. Okay. And so spirit wanted you to see what it's like to have money but no love, okay? Even if you are in a connection, like you could say you're not alone or you want to. You can lay it up, go to sleep, wake up, take a shower, uh, order, take out with, take trips with. But it's like, is your heart and soul being fed? And I feel like spirit had to make that apparent to you guys because it's like, you think this is the most fulfilling thing. So I'm going to take this love out of your life and give you somebody that's going to fulfill all your wishes when it come down to money and material things. And I'm and then they not going to be loving. So you either get one or the other, you know? And I mean, I don't know. Like at this point, you might feel like the person that you're looking back at, they might be balanced out financially now. It's like they took their time. So spirit could be speaking to patience when it come down to you might not have been patient. Like maybe that person wasn't in a season of wealth yet. And it's like because of that, you could have left them behind, went towards somebody that you thought could give you more money. Okay. And Taurus, I'm going to tell you this too, because maybe some of y'all not on it in this timeline yet. And y'all could be looking at y'all spouse like, man, I love them, but they just ain't got it all financially. Please use this as a warning. Please use this as a warning because it's better than a warning. It's better for you to have a warning than for you to get into a new situation that's going to be unfulfilling because you think it's going to be better because it's more money there and then be missing the hell out of somebody that might not want you back. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the thing. 
that the Taurus masculine have to kind of think about right now. It's like, what if they go back to this lover that did shower them with so much love and this person don't got no more love for them because they blatantly chose a connection over them that yielded more wealth. And now maybe this person got the wealth that they that they didn't have before. And now it's like, okay, now you want to come back because that person don't give you the love that I give, but now I got the money and the love. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so somebody here better think, like, if you not, like, if this is just a thought, if you just like, damn, man, it's a baller that really want to be with me. And I love my person, but they ain't got it. They can't take me on trips. They can't buy me expensive gifts. This reading right here is saying that these gifts is going to get played out. That the gifts that this new person can or will give you or has, because it depends on what timeline you want right now. You know, if this hasn't happened to you, this can be something that's in the near future where your relationship is going to be tested. Where you can be longing for the things that you and your partner have outside of love. Like you can be looking at the love your partner give and be like, that's not enough. That's not enough. I need more. And it's, it's your right to want everything. But also, be patient enough to build with your person. Because if they're giving you everything that you want love-wise and you see them striving for their dreams, it would be better to support them and build with them and say that y'all made that together than to go off, let somebody have to pick up the pieces of you leaving them behind, get their shit together, and now it's like you want their love and you want to have the wealth that they built with by themselves as you left them behind or as they left you behind, depending on how this go for you, okay? But somebody here, they seeing like patience leads to victory. Patience is definitely virtue, okay? Emperor. Wealthy male, I'm telling you. <laughs> It's like the wealth and God, like look at the cross, period. I told you, God was like, okay, okay. You want some money? All right, cool. I got this baller over here with the Bentley and the BBL. So leave your queen of cups behind. What you want? BBL or real love? You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, eh, I like the Bentley with the BBL to match. It's kind of looking good over there. And... Y'all go got till y'all can, can't get no more, okay? And you just like, this is a loveless ass connection though. God, like, why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you tell me that I was going to miss my queen of cups? That I was going to miss the love? And they, you chose BBL and Bentley. You know what I'm saying? Free will. You know what I'm saying? Like, spirit will definitely tell you. I mean, we know free will is there, but it's like sometimes your free will gonna come at a cost. Cause yo, most of the time when our free will is opposite of what God wants for us, it's because of the ego. I mean, that's just the thing. So it's like you gonna learn lessons with, you know, going in the opposite direction that God is trying to push you in, you know? So yeah, God could have been like, be patient, pray for your partner, support them, you know what I'm saying? Instead of like just looking at how broke they are. I mean, and I get it. That could be annoying sometimes. So I'm not trying to act like I'm biased or, you know, I don't understand why somebody is requiring stability. Okay, that is a requirement. But the thing is, is that whoever I'm talking to, you learn some type of lesson. You left one for the other and the other didn't have the other. Now you want the other and the other. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's like, oh my God, like, I'm just going back and forth. I want you because you got money. Never mind. I want the love and the money, you know? So, let's see. King of Swords. Yeah, unwise decisions. You feel like you went against what your ancestors was advising you to do. Because some of y'all was afraid to make this move. Y'all stressed the fuck out. Taurus, y'all stressed. Okay? Y'all too blessed to be stressed like this. Okay? But y'all just feel like y'all in a dark place. Like, y'all don't know where y'all stand with this person. Y'all want to extend an apology. Y'all feel like an apology might not even be enough. 
and and that's the thing throughout this whole thing not enough not enough it's like the love wasn't enough the money wasn't enough your apology ain't gonna be enough or at least that's how you feel taurus because i feel like why is this message a concern here Like, I feel like this person going to be like, like, they going to be shocked. Like, because I don't know when the last time y'all talked. Like, maybe this person didn't know that you went off and had a family and marriage and everything. Because maybe since the breakup, y'all haven't talked at all. But, yeah, this person, they going to be surprised that your choices led you to unhappiness. Because you could have been very confident and walking away from this person. So they're going to be shocked. And if I don't get an I told you so vibe or nothing like that, Taurus. I literally just feel like this person going to be shocked. Like, clutching their pearls. Like, okay, I never thought that I was going to hear from you again. What's up? What happened? You know? And it's like when you get on the breakdown and you tell them spiritually what you learned. Wow. Okay. We can get some type of outcome for you, Taurus. Because right now, that ain't coming up. Okay, why is the Four of Swords here? So y'all had to do some healing. Yep, y'all got to heal y'all finances now too. Because this may be like you and this person might have had a business together and maybe y'all walking away from it. Like, you know what? I'm going to just start over. If I built that shit, I could build something else. I'm good. I don't even want it no more. Four of Swords. Y'all, yeah. damn, y'all. For some of you, this person may have you blocked. Damn, y'all. Y'all might feel like this person used to really honor you or even worship you, okay? And I hate to say that for their sake, but I'm pretty sure they did some healing while you was healing too. But this person could have definitely worshipped you in the past, okay? Being that you are this wealthy male energy, like this person could have saw you as a good husband and this and that, you know? Or because the wealthy male is a king of pentacles. That's why I'm saying all of this good husband thing. But, you know, again, it's like, yeah y'all missed the opportunity to have a son with this person and this person was meant to be your soulmate for life but they don't see you as the love of their life anymore Taurus. and it's like y'all really feeling that like if this person don't answer y'all text message y'all may be finding out that you're not the most significant male in their life anymore so this is a harsh lesson for the man here damn y'all Ooh, okay Either that or that's what you dreaming. Like, you could be having nightmares that, you know, you go back towards this person and they giving the love that you've been longing for to somebody else. Okay? But, like, for some of y'all, y'all may feel like this person ain't gonna hold y'all on the same accord, the same pedestal that they once did. Oh, sorry, y'all. What did I do? Hold on, y'all. But I see that if, like, a conversation start and, uh, you know, I don't know which one of y'all I'm talking to, but if a conversation starts with this person and it, it's just like y'all just pick up like y'all never left or whatever and it's a lot of conversation, somebody's going to be extremely happy. Like, that's what somebody wants. Somebody wants someone to engage. Like, okay, yeah, okay, good. This feel good. This feel like we never left, you know? So let's see what the outcome gonna be, y'all. Just so y'all can get a little heads up. I know it's gonna be different for everybody, but definitely consult with your guides. You know, if you want to know if this is for you specifically, meditate on it. Okay, so what's gonna be the outcome for this for Taurus? These readings are long this month. What's going to be the outcome in this situation for Taurus? Uh-oh. Okay, longing. Mm, Taurus, I'm telling you. Somebody longing for you, you longing for somebody. But somebody here is secretly yearning for the other, okay? What's going to be the outcome? So somebody, okay, so Taurus, if you're the one that left somebody behind because you felt like something else was going to be better, it's like you may have to assure this person that they don't have to worry about nothing because I feel like this person is embarrassed by that. Like that could have humiliated this person and that might have been why you didn't hear from them for so long because they feel like you made a fool of them, okay? 
they feel like you made an utter and complete fool of them and that they will look so stupid to get back with you. And I, I mean, yeah, abundance. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Wow, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So, Taurus, whoever in your past who had a lot of love but no money to give, that person got abundance now. This person, their hard work is paying off and abundance is flowing to them. Okay? I, I, I definitely feel like, you know, you guys both attain some level of abundance away from each other. But, you know, obviously that was something you was always on. And this person, they on their own shit now. Like, you know, they they getting it together on some real shit. Support. That's what they needed. Spirit not talking about, like, new love is in reverse. So, this person don't got a new love. So, if y'all been dreaming about that, that's just a nightmare. That's y'all mind playing tricks on y'all. This person hasn't had new love as of yet. It's like they haven't met someone and felt madly head over heels. So let's see. We're going to get some message cards because this really is like, I guess it's just giving you the green light. But it's like, if you gonna, if you going to go back into this person's life, be patient, vulnerable, and supportive, okay? Y'all, everything will unfold in divine timing. So don't just expect like to come back into this and, and expect this person to be head over heels with you. Like you may have to prove your loyalty to this person or you may have to show that you're not on the same shit. Like, and that's not too much to ask. So it's like, if that's too much, if it's too much to ask for you, just let them be. You know what I'm saying? Just move on. Just know like, okay, now I know I want it all. Like money ain't the most important thing to me. Now I know that I need a balance of the two, you know? But y'all, rejection this person's rejection is protection that might have been what this person felt like when you rejected them that it was their protection because now this person is basking in abundance that they wasn't when they were with you okay so again they might have had their own karmic lessons to learn and that may have been why they could have been not doing as well financially and it's like they could have done the hard work, inner work, outer work, working on certain things. And now they are achieving abundance. So it's like the person that had it all except for the money, they have that now too. Okay, but they see this situation as they needed your support and you backed off of them. And so they see it almost like the rejection that you gave them was some type of protection. But maybe they also feel like it was tough love. Like they needed you to leave them behind or let them be in their solitude so that they could truly get that shit together. Y'all, okay, so from your new love, you could have yielded children. And that could be something, you know, that could be something that's important. That could be some news that you have to share with this person. Yeah, trust. Like this person don't trust third parties okay so it's like y'all might have put them in a third party and maybe now this person worried about third parties or they worried about the fact that you could have had a baby with a third party and now this person got to be you know if they be in your life then they got to be in the life of these children that you made with the third party as well as the third party you get what i'm saying but this is a twin flame connection y'all Need I say more? Lord have mercy. I'm going to leave it here, y'all. If I pull message cards, this is going to be a 40-minute video. So, I'm going to leave it here, Taurus. Um, again, if this something that you haven't done yet, just think twice, you know, and be patient and supportive and vulnerable with your person. Let them know what you need from them. But don't just leave them hanging because you might end up in a position like this where you have to apologize and do some damage control from the past, okay? So like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.